There is a big problem with basing the entire intensity of your training program on a percentage of a one rep max. Let me guess, you're probably following some kind of cookie cutter program that has you doing straight sets at a fixed percentage of one RM, like five sets of five at 80%, or maybe you do a little bit of work at a higher percentage and then back down to a lower percentage. And you probably often feel like those sets feel super hard and grindy and you're getting close to failure and it feels really difficult to add weight to the bar each week. And if you put on an extra two and a half kilos, you probably start failing reps. Or you might have experienced that one week they actually feel quite easy and you're making good progress. And then the next week they feel super hard and they're crushing you. Now, if you want to follow a better program that doesn't have you following this kind of approach, click the top link in the description and there is three, four and five day options for you. So what is the problem with basing your training on a percentage of one rep max then? And you're probably thinking like, oh, what does this guy know with a skinny pencil neck? I swear I do actually train quite heavy. I can deadlift like 300 kilos, but I just have no neck gains at all. Um, but this approach isn't working for you. And if it was, you wouldn't be watching this video because you know deep down that there is a smarter way to approach your training than just grinding out really hard, heavy sets to failure all the time. So multiple problems then with using a percentage of one rep max to determine like the intensity of your whole program. So reason number one is that these programs assume that your one rep max is like this fixed number that you can do on any given day. And you know, that's not the case. Like I can't do my one rep max on every given day. I couldn't walk in the gym and deadlift 300 kilos every day. I have to be on a good day. I have to build up to that over multiple months of training. Like you can't just do it on any day. Do you think like Eddie Hall can go in the gym and pull 500 on any day? Obviously not. So your one rep max isn't a fixed number. Your one rep max fluctuates up and down massively on a weekly and even daily basis based on so many factors like your nutrition, your sleep, life stress, the period of your training, loads of different things. So if we're going to base your intensity on this number that is fixed that you hit like six months ago, we're going to end up with intensities that are way too light or way too heavy for the desired like adaptations we're looking for. Also, there's another good reason. Different people have very different capacities at different percentages of one rep max. So let me give you an example. Let's say that we take me and you watching this video, okay? Let's say that I can do 70% of my one rep max for like 12 reps because I'm quite well trained. I've been lifting for years, so I can do 70% for 12 reps. Let's say you can only do 70% of your max for like six reps because you haven't been training for that long. Now, if you gave both of us five sets of five at 70%, do you not see how that's a massively different stress for the two of us? For you, like you've only got one rep left in the tank, so it's going to be super hard and grindy. For me, I can do 12. It's going to be super easy. The bar is going to be moving really quickly. So it doesn't make sense to just give people recommendations like this based on a percentage of one rep max because there's no individualization there at all. So you're probably thinking, great, like you're telling me this is a problem, but like what's the solution? How do I fix it? So for my clients, I use a bit of a different approach. So if you've been watching any of my videos, you will see that I recommend doing top set back off approach for the most part. So we do a heavy top set of one to three reps at RPE five to nine. This is going to represent like an 80% plus of your one rep max. Then we'll do some lighter back down work. And you're probably thinking like that's the exact approach you just told me basically not to do. There's one key difference. So we're going to use a top set back off and we're going to base the top set on RPE. So basically you use RPE to gauge how many repetitions you've got in reserve to rate that set. And what I do is my clients do this top set, they log it on my online training spreadsheets and my spreadsheet will give them an estimated one rep max for that given day. So literally every time they type it in, the estimated one rep max will be different based on the weight they logged, the reps and the RPE. So let's say if you had a top set of two reps at 140 kilos, and you rated it an RPE five, it will spit out an estimated one RM. If you change that RPE to a six, seven, eight, nine, the estimated one RM will change. It will come down to reflect the difference in effort. Now, if you want it just like done for you, obviously hire me as your coach and you can use my spreadsheets. If not, then just go onto Google, type in like percentage one RM RPE calculator, and you can use a calculator like, like this for yourself. The calculator will allow you to estimate your daily one rep max based on the factors I just mentioned. 
And now you have the flexibility that you can adjust intensity based on a given day, like on how you're performing, because we all have good and bad days in the gym where performance fluctuates massively. Some days you're going to go in and weights are going to be flying and you feel great and your your potential one rep max or your performance potential will be very high. Other days you're going to go in, you're going to feel terrible, you've slept poorly, you haven't eaten well, life stress is high, you've watched some influencers videos who's given you dumb advice. And you go in and you have a terrible session and your performance potential will be lower. Now, with your current approach, you're going in just doing like straight sets, like five by five at 80%. And it just ignores the good and bad days. You just bang your head against a brick wall and just push that intensity regardless of if it's a good or a bad day. Now, I'm all for being disciplined and going in and doing the hard work anyway. And I'm still recommending that you still do the work, you still train. But why not be a bit smart about it and take advantage of the good days and pull back a little bit on the bad days? Because ultimately to get stronger long term, I've said this so many times, we need to manage fitness and fatigue. We need fitness and the stimulus you gain from your training sessions to be high whilst managing fatigue. We basically want fitness all the way up here or stimulus from your training sessions. And we want fatigue to be trailing behind so that we can actually add weight to the bar, adapt and get stronger. If you go in and just try and do your five by five every single week at 80% and you're like, oh, I'm just going to use the simpler approach, just do 80%, just do the hard work and just grind. You end up with, yeah, really high stimulus, but then fatigue's through the roof and you can never add any weight to the bar. And that's the position you're in right now. So use this smarter approach. So go in, do your top sets. Once you've done the top set, use an online um, estimated like percentage of 1RM RPE calculator, just click on the first one you see, type in the, the weight, the reps, and the RPE that you did. So let's say you did 140 kilos, two reps, RPE six. It's gonna give you an estimated one rep max. And then you take a percentage of that estimated one rep max for your back off work. So instead of doing 80% of your fixed 1RM that you did like six months ago, Take a percentage of this estimated one rep max from each day of training, each time you do a top set. We want a daily estimated one rep max so that we can account for those fluctuations in performance. This is called auto-regulation and this is how we train smart. This is how we adjust the stress of your training program based on your daily preparedness instead of just grinding out and just having this old age dumb mindset of, oh, I'm just gonna train hard and it doesn't work, like it's stupid. Yes, some of the genetic freaks can just do it over and over and keep adding weight to the bar week after week. Average guys like me and you, we can't do it. We need a smarter approach where we actually manage fatigue, adapt, and get stronger long term. So like I said, if you want to just use my systems and have me do it for you, click the top link in the description. If you want to do a little bit of work yourself, just go on Google, use the calculator, log your top sets, and then take a percentage for the back off work. What percentage should you use? I would not recommend you go up to like 80%. Some of you might benefit from that. But for the most part, I would recommend you stay somewhere between like 60 and 75% of that estimated one rep max. Start the blocks down towards the low end at 60% and maybe you scale up through multiple training blocks. Some of you can venture up to like close to 80%. You might do well with that. For most of you, I would stick between like 60 and 75%. So thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope I helped you out. I have another video here on how to set your training up to maximize strength if you wanna watch that one. If you have any questions, comments, stuff like that, post them in the comment section down below. I reply to every single comment and I'll catch you in the next one.